Break Free was our first attempt at virtual production and in-camera VFX on ANR virtual production stage. As a first test, a sequence in the forest, so difficult to film, carrying a big crew into the forest, bringing it into the virtual production stage, gave me great control as a filmmaker. This gave me the power to control nature, the sun, the moon, the wind, exactly the way I conceived it in my mind. Today, many filmmakers use previous to can complex sequences, especially action sequences. But when it comes to virtual production and in-camera VFX, a complete comprehensive previous and tech -vis is absolutely necessary even before you start filming. The forest was something that we picked up from the marketplace. Sitting with the production designer, we created sets and props to meet my vision for this sequence. The rule was anything the actor interacted with or touched had to be in the physical world. To take them into the virtual environment, we used photogrammetry to scan. In the case of Break Free, we had to create a scan of the lamppost, scan of the boat, scan of the bridge, and put them back into the virtual environment. This way, we created a perfect fusion between the physical and the virtual environments. It is in the techwiz we block shots. It is where we decide what lensing to use. It is where we decide what camera moves to do. And with all this, we can create a perfect edit even before we enter the sets. we decided to create a brilliant moonlit night in the forest. Our DOP sat with our visual artists and using all the tools inside the Unreal Engine, created this look that you see in the film. The dolly walls on the side and the ceiling panel really brought out this look very, very well. But the DOP went on to enhance this look using the physical lights. He had the opportunity to represent these physical lights inside the Unreal Engine and he created a lighting grid. The DOP's team followed this lighting grid in the lighting prep. The biggest advantage I see in virtual production is the fact that it can bring the entire cast and crew to have one vision. If virtual production is about working things to the last detail, does it mean that it takes away the freedom to improvise on set? No, not at all. In Break Free, there was the shot of the security guard walking and he was about to be attacked. I wanted that slight element of surprise, he being distracted at that time. Suddenly I told the Unreal team to come up with a cat that we can use in the virtual environment. Guess what? As the camera panned, with a click of a key, they could trigger the cat coming onto the bridge. The biggest win in virtual production, I feel, is performance. Unlike green screen, the actor doesn't have to imagine anything. In virtual production, the real location is all around and therefore the actor is able to give out the best. For a producer, there are no surprises. There are no logistical nightmares. Everything is under control in terms of time and money. For a director, I can achieve my vision without compromises. Finally, virtual production empowers a director to break free from the constraints of location and time.
Okay.